If you're considering investing in a gaming laptop, I figured I'd share some thoughts on portability because I travel a lot and traveling with a comfortable gaming setup is something I've tried to streamline. The biggest factor really is negotiating weight versus protection. If you're gonna be in a lot of situations where you're gonna put your bag on the floor or somewhere where it might get knocked or fall, then there's really no way around it. You're gonna need something pretty chunky because protecting the laptop is important. For me though, it's about having a portable solution that is as minimal and lightweight as possible. So I can have my gaming setup with me when I'm in hotels or in our production studio in the city or just when I'm editing on the go. And I know some of you might be saying, hey, why not just get one of those portable handheld gaming platforms? A few reasons. I've never really been much of a handheld gamer, but also a laptop is way more practical for me because it's multifunctional. Not only can I run games on it with great settings, but I can stream from it, I can edit video content, and I can comfortably recreate something as close to my home setup as possible. Let's see what I got on here. Of course, my Legion gaming laptop and power adapter. This is the Legion 7i. This one has an 11th gen Intel CPU, an Nvidia RTX 3070, and 16 gig of RAM. For my headset, I use this Logitech G435 gaming headset for a couple of reasons. It's one of the most compact, lightweight headsets in their range, perfect for travel. It has Bluetooth and wireless, so if I don't want to mess around with a Wi-Fi receiver or I lose it or forget it somewhere, I can still use the headset. I use a wired mouse for travel just because it's annoying to have too many things to charge. I do have options that are smaller than this, but I'm really trying to create a facsimile of my home gaming setup and mouse button layout is really important to me, so. I've got something pretty similar to the one that I use at home. And I bought this little mini travel mouse pad from Amazon. It's really thin, so it rolls up super small, but it's cute and it's just the right size. Lastly, I bring a little zip bag with a few extra bits in it. I've got an SD card reader, wireless thingy for my headset, just a spare USB cable, and I chuck a little portable hard drive in there too in case I need it. The main thing is to just keep everything flat so that it packs well. I feel like women, at least, we always end up with a million of these little pouches, so it's nice to find a good useful one. So let's look at some compact bags. Yes, bag video, let's go. Recently, I've been using this Reigns Trail mini backpack and it's great, but it's not quite right, which is why I thought I'd make this video because I was like, maybe there's a better option out there. Let's see, let's experiment. What I love about this one is that it's waterproof. Reigns is actually a Danish raincoat company and then they like expanded into bags. The material is almost like rubber. It's really cool. And the straps are also super comfortable. And it has that like mesh breathable thing on the back. And best of all, look how slim it is. It sits super low profile on your back, which I love. The bag doesn't fit much else in it though. There isn't even a front pocket. This is just like, I don't know. It doesn't have much in the way of padding or protection. So this is really only for when you know the bag is either gonna be on your back or somewhere safe where it's not gonna get knocked around. <sighs> the big bummer about it though, is that the laptop sleeve inside isn't quite big enough for my gaming laptop. Ugh. In fact, so it's at this point that I go on this whole thing lambasting bag companies for misrepresenting laptop sleeve sizes because mine wouldn't fit. When I later learned that laptops and all screens are measured diagonally. Basic info apparently everyone knows except me. So yeah. But look, I maintain this next point still stands. They're also referring to more of a notebook rather than something that has a decent GPU and a lot of cooling fans. So even though the Legion 7i is pretty bloody slim for a powerful gaming laptop, it is not quite slim enough for this, unfortunately. For a while I was putting the laptop in the front part of the backpack and shoving my like power adapter and accessories into the back part, but then that meant they were kind of like digging into my back or the lumpy stuff. You know, you want the flat part against your back, obviously. And also just from a weight distribution perspective, it doesn't make sense to have the heaviest part of the bag be the part that's not against your back. So, modification. I've kind of just been like jamming it in there and I tore the padded sleeve quite a bit, but it fits now. <laughs> Reigns do make a slightly larger version of that backpack that's similar, but for some reason it doesn't have the padded straps. It's got like these thin canvas straps, which is like, you know, if you're carrying more stuff, you want the comfort. I don't get it. But really, I'm just, I'm a small person, so I want the smallest bag possible. <laughs> Next, let's look at the Fjallraven, Fjallraven, Fjallraven Konken 15 inch laptop backpack. Fjallraven uh, is a Swedish brand, it means Arctic Fox. In 1978, we launched Konken to prevent back problems among Swedish school children. They're more of an adventure brand, but these come in heaps of colors. It has water bottle sleeves, front pocket, and fun fact, all Konkens come with this foam insert, which is actually there so that you have something to sit on and keep your butt dry when you're out hiking. True story. So this backpack has a separate zip compartment in the back specifically for a laptop, and it is a 15 inch sleeve. So it 
took a gamble and... It is a snug fit. I had to remove this from its little inner sleeve because it did not fit in there as well. But honestly, I would rather this than go up a size. That's how stubborn I am about wanting the bag to be small. But I guess the moral of the story is be prepared to test whether your laptop is gonna fit in the laptop sleeve before you make your purchase. I do find it weird that for a hiking brand, this bag is not waterproof. But probably the biggest neg is the price. Like all of the common brand name backpacks you see around are pretty pricey, but Fjallraven is at the pricier end for sure. Lastly, let's look at the Herschel Mid-Volume City Backpack. I wanted to try this one because similar to Reigns, it has a pretty slim shape, like it's quite low profile on your back, but it is also pretty wide across the back, which means it's more forgiving when it comes to the laptop sleeve. Yay. It also has this like faux buckle, single clasp flap opening thing, which I think is really great for speedy packing and unpacking. I'm all about convenience. I like that. This is actually a great option all round. It's much cheaper than the other two and it's functional even if it's basic. In terms of the sleeve, it definitely fits the laptop the best out of the three. I do wish it had just a bit more of a premium finish, but that's not really what Herschel are about. It also only comes in black and navy, which is, you know, a snore, but whatevs. I do like the separate specific laptop zip compartment that the Fjallraven offers. It was just unfortunately a little too snug for my laptop. I think if I could engineer the perfect backpack, it would probably be this design, but with the Reigns craftsmanship and materials, maybe. And that's it. With this little kit, I can comfortably recreate something for gaming, streaming, and editing that is as close to my home setup as possible. Thank you so much to Lenovo Legion for partnering with me on this video and for making it possible for me to take my gaming setup on the road. I would love to know if you have a solution to this very specific desire I have for a compact, portable gaming setup. If you do, let me know in the comments. Bye.